Thank you so much, Graham. Right now, it is time to introduce you to our Mandela Monday hero on this beautiful Monday morning at that. Now, if you really think about Tata Madiba's legacy or the essence of his legacy, it's all about giving back and making a positive difference in our communities and stand united in terms of building a better South Africa and care for the well-being of our future generations. Now, for Ochense Mandela Monday, a man that is a 77-year-old man here from the West Cape, and not just you, he is an ontzettend lief for Tata Madiba and all that he has done for this land. So much so that he the whole South Africa will inspire met die oorspronkelike liekie. Nelson Mandela's legacy means to me that first and foremost, he is someone very special. That's what he means to me. He's someone very special. 77-year-old Stanley Daniels from Belhar in Cape Town wants to inspire the youth of South Africa in a way they can relate to. So he wrote a song called Nelson Mandela, Agenda of Peace. Obviously, I'm really blown away by his passion. That's like the first thing when, I, when Stanley walked in, just you see how much he believes in this project and the song. And it's always really nice to work with an artist who is so passionate and believes wholeheartedly what they're singing and, and you know, the message behind it. Obviously, you know, any song about Nelson Mandela is going to be emotional and, and charged. But this one, you can see it's quite close to him and he obviously believes in it so... Um, that came across in his vocal delivery and it came across in the song in the final product so yeah, I'm very impressed by Stanley and hopefully the song will do well and, and the message will be reached by the people that he wants it to reach. Yes, he made us realize that we need each other. The challenge to me is what I see every day among our people. The way people behave is as if they, they've got a short temper. And because we're living in that era, our youth is the people that suffers the most. You see? And that is my biggest worry because look, I got grandchildren. As a result of that, I try to do something that could help the youth, especially the youth. Stanley has the full support of his family in his quest to keep Madiba's legacy alive and some of his 10 grandchildren also helped write the song. The message uh, it's going to send out there, it's a very, very good message and uh, for the youth and for all of the people of South Africa. It's his own words, it's his own CD, he wrote it himself with the help of, of his grandchildren. I think it's a very, very good a good message going out there on that scene. My grandchildren is always supportive, especially about my baby Diba song. They are really very, 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 very much proud of it. I would like my music to go worldwide. The lessons I want the youth to learn from my song is this. They've got to be strong, first and foremost, they must be strong. Secondly, they've got to have a goal, and I'm trying to motivate them to be like Matiba. Music has the power to inspire change, and Stanley is tapping into that, hoping to energize his fellow citizens to follow the great examples and legacy left to us by Tata Madiba.